Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome everyone to my channel And today, I'm going to tell you Or I'm going to inform to you About one subchapter in discourse analysis And the chapter is talking about grammar and discourse analysis And the, and the subchapter in this chapter I choose the theme and rim okay so before that I'm going to introduce myself my name is Egi Nurdanshah from A3 2016 and without further ado let's jump to the explanation okay so theme and rim based on my understanding Theme and rim is talking about the topics of each sentence or clause. The theme here act as the topics or words that this that rim describe. And the rim is like the complements of each sentence or clause. Okay. Uh, there is expert that support my uh at my interpretations the first one is holiday so according to holiday theme is point of departure it is that which the clause is concerned so theme here is the point of departure of each clause so the theme is the point that creates or described by another sentence or words that's the whole that's holidays saying next one is Martin Martin said that theme is seen crucial element related to success of a text so without theme text will be very very unsuccess that's why Martin said that theme is important of sentence okay the classifications of theme and rim they are divided into three parts there are additional there are textual and last one is interpersonal and in additional it's divided into two parts the first one is unmarked second one is marked in unmarked it was divided into three parts again the first one is noun group noun group means a theme that's from the noun group yeah it's obvious for example it's like I or name of na yeah, names of persons or things that's noun group second one is noun group complex which means it's more than one noun yeah for example, me and my father, or Patrick and Tia, it's non group complex. And the last one is embedded clause. Embedded clause here means it's a WH question without the question mark. For example, what you have done to me, it's wrong. It starts with WH question, but it's uh, without the question mark. Okay, let's go to the mark additional uh, theme. theme I'm sorry. The mark part is divided into three uh, points. The first one is adverbial. Adverbial means the adverb. For example, it's like slowly and yeah you know the adverb uh, word class okay second is proportional praise proportional praise is the proportional which means it describes the proportion of something for example in on at or etc okay last uh, point is complement complement here means uh, 
if you are on something it means compliment uh, for example my books my here is compliment or yours or your and this okay let's go to the textual textual divide into two parts there are continuative continuative is same like interjections for example wow you look so awesome wow here is continuative second part is corrective conjunctive conjunction which mean is the subordinating conjunction for example although because and so many more and last part of the theme and dream is interpersonal interpersonal here divided into two parts there are vocative vocative means uh, words that describe our relation to someone for example dear honey babe and something like that and last one is modality modality is wh questions with question mark is interrogative sentence for example what what's your favorite food what is the wh question and with question mark okay that's all from my explanation and now i'm going to show you a little bit of sentence analysis uh, of team henry okay i give you a sentence the sentence is i come from down in the valley. I come from down in the valley. Okay, the first sentence of each, or oh, I mean, the first words of each sentence or clause is obviously theme, and the rest of it is rim. That's the structure. I mean, that's how we define. A theme the first words of its sentence is theme so in this sentence the first words is I based on my uh, explanation I is in the noun uh, the noun groups noun groups is in the additional or topical theme so in this sentence uh, I here means non-group, unmarked, topical theme, and the rest of it is ring. So, I come from down in the valley is a non-group, unmarked, topical theme, and the rest of it is ring. Okay, guys, maybe that's all from my. Uh, explanation to you i hope it's clear if there's if there is a non-clear explanation you can ask it in the comment and i hope this uh, explanation will help you in the future okay uh thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh